Last time on Corpse Party. <laughs> Now let's continue where we left off. Sup legends, GMJ here. Gonna start chapter two now. View the chapter two opening, yeah. Man, I was just freaking playing this 15 minutes ago and I had to stop it recording because I had the mic on mute the whole time. So I guess I'm doing this again. Phew. That should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that student co-ed meeting in two days. Why can't the boys class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. Freaking Kishinuma. Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks. And he expects me to lug around a damn Pomil horse? Oh, gulp. Naomi, that is one pretty sight. Huh? What is? That booty you got. What? Yours is way cuter. Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You've got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. It seem, it means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you do have a certain mother, motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Huh? All the happy things go to an end. Right? No. 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 Chapter 2. Well, technically, that says Chapter 0 2. But we'll go with it. Hey, look, we're playing as the teacher now. Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming. No, you're just hearing things, Teach. That wasn't her. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Well, you failed at your job. Wheeze, shatter, gas, gulp, sputter, wheeze. Shinozaki, it's all right. Please calm down. But you heard it too. Outside, her voice. Wheeze, shiver. I did. No, teacher, you're supposed to tell her I didn't hear anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I think she's hyperventilating. I'd give her a paper bag to breathe into, but there aren't any around. I guess all I can do is try to calm her breathing before she passes out. Then, it probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it was the building settling. Maybe it was the build. You guys make up terrible excuses. First Seiko with the building, with the earthquake. And then she says, oh no, it was totally the floors just came in. And now you, the building, making noises? I don't think the building will scream. Unless there's something really wrong with this building. But, but then again, you do make a good point because there is something wrong with this building. I'll go check it out, though. 
and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? Gasp, please. Miss Yui, wait. Don't leave us. Shinozaki. It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Okay. Or better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance until I can verify everything's safety. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. No! There's always that one person that says, Don't go! Look, she'll be fine. Jeez. I'm counting on you, Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. Hmm. What floor was I in? Or what room was I in? I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts. Like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness. Or the nausea. Oh, I'm here. Okay. How did I not see that at first? But when I think about the possibilities of something horrible happening to my dear students, I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level-headed adult. Valure, the name is education. Valure, thy name is education? Whatever you say. And now I can start playing. Do the notes change? Oh, I can't get to that one. There's something up here. Huh? It's a key, isn't it? A label on the key reads 3A. Take it. Yeah. We have took in the 3A key. It's too bad I completely forgot where that room was at. No teachers allowed on the third floor. Boo! Alright. Which room is this? Return home immediately. Those who remain here will go hungry and die of starvation. Ah, crap. That reminds me. Poor Menos, poor Monets all alone. He must be one hungry kitty by now. Oh boy. Classroom 2A. Well, this isn't 3A. Heavenly Post, breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children and their funding are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18, 1973 at around 7 p.m. Authorities farther revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloody scissors. Each of the corpses appear to have had its tongue served blankety blank and removed blankety blank. Did I just read it? Hold on. I think I just read all this before. I think I read all that crap. I heard something about this once before, but I never realized just how horrific an incident this really was. Slam. Um, yeah. Hell no. I mean, I guess I gotta go this way. And Terrific. I accomplished nothing. This is probably three. The hell? I wonder what it's gonna take me. Classroom 3A. Okay. Oh, shoot. 
Hey, yeah. Is it hey, uh, hey, yeah. Whatever. Well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the others two back in 1A, did you? I'll have you know, I heard one of my students screaming and have set out to find her. I see. Regret regrettability. That won't be possible. This school exists in a nexus where multiple dimension overlaps. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps, your body or your spirit may move from one dimension to another. Or, maybe, you can find some means of traversing the planes freely as they do. They. Consider this fair warnings. Even if you should find the exact spot from which your student screams emanated, she herself may not be there. And if she isn't there, not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. Is it true that other children have been brought here quite recently? Children who, by all appearance, are indeed your students? But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as yours assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? Uh, you're confusing me, lady. Or dude. Or just spirit. Just the blue guy. With the phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence in one another, even when out of sync. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. Ha ha. Out of the way, spirit. Alright. The shelves are filled with a bit of stuff. And so many tools and stuff. And door. And shoot. Oh no. Step aside. Why don't you fuck off, you damned corporal? Uh oh. You don't make the red spirit angry. An earthquake? No, you guys. How many times do I gotta tell you? It's the cameraman. Now would be a good time to run. Uh oh. Fuck. Damn, that's gotta hurt. Ugh, irk. In all the worlds, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of them all are the school teachers. All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. Ugh. This really, really hurts. You're all the same, every last one of you. And I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taken in? When you see a problem amongst your kids, you just keep your distance because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up appearance right. You just pick out the problem children and chip away to them little by little until they're either dropped off, dropped out, or get expelled. You're not disciplining them, you're just raging at them. That's not. I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students, not once. You, you're. Wrong. Ah, oh. 
What was that? Was that the, the, the good spot? <laughs> All of your students are dis destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls. If they don't succumb, succumb to depression and kill themselves first, there's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Eep! Oof! Oof! Uh, stuff. Any last words, bitch? I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Oh, ooh, oh. Perfect last words. Spare. Mm. <laughs> Come again. Spare my students. What was that? Please, I don't care what happens to me. Just please spare their lives. They're not your children. You're not their mother. Are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar. Did you know when you die in this occurred place, you'll experience the pain you felt as the moment of your death for all eternity? And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable. And you're going to feel the pain every moment of every day forevermore. Please, Pant, ask me to spare you and what you, it's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me and I'll consider sparing your life. Yeah, spare me, fuck no. Don't you harm a hair. Don't you harm a hair on their heads. You hear me? Tch. You are one stubborn little bitch. Oh, yeah, she's dead. Oh, shoot. She's coughing out blood. Ugh. Oh, oh just, just kill her. Rasp. This is excruciating. I think my rib cage is broken. It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with a superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. Ha ha ha! Does it hurt? Ah, oh, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog in the side of the road. Everybody live. I love you all. Damn, Teach. That's gotta suck. Meanwhile, with Shinozaki and uh, this guy, I forgot his name, and the camera guy. Whoa, another earthquake. If that rolls your boat, we'll just call it an earthquake. But we all know the truth. It's that damn camera we got. I think it's over. Nah, uh, yeah. What's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We've got to go search for Miss Yui. What if she comes back while we're gone, and we miss each other along the way? We're going. You can't argue with the lady. Uh, all right. Uh, all right, already. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? Sniffle sob. How about we leave her a note? Shinozaki, do you have anything to write with? I've got a pen, but no paper, huh? Well, there's always the teacher's de desk. Mm. 
Miss Yui, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here, we'll be back. How's that? Blunt. And kind of sloppy. It's your fault, we have to leave her message at all. It's your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know. But she might be in trouble. Oh, okay, okay. Just don't cry. We'll find her. All right, we're gonna go find her. So we're we're in this room, the room that Seiko and Naomi started in. Miss Yui went up here, so we go after her. I hope so. Okay, we don't go after her. What the? Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? See, see, that makes sense. The floor can fall down. Yes, that makes sense. Miss Yui, where are you? I'm really worried. But now, did the bottom floor make, make a floor? Probably not. Hey, I wonder if I can go up here. I'm not a... I'm not a teacher. Hey, I can come up here. But the million dollar question is, what's up here? If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in this school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. Custodian. Oh my god. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Okay, we don't go in there. And there's nothing up here. So, uh, I guess they, she, they don't want the name tags. Either that or I don't have any name tags. I wonder if there was a room I passed. Wow, there was, right here. Will this say the same thing? Don't do anything you'll regret. Think of your mother and your father. Remember their faces. You have only one life to live. Make it count. Do not waste the precious gift of existence. Why would they need a flyer for this? Yeah, seriously. Who's gonna kill themselves in here? I'd rather find my way out. Yeah, I don't know. Who's gonna kill themselves? Wasn't that door open on that side? The door seems affixed to the wall like a model. It can't be open. Heavenly Post breaking news here. Can, no. Yes, this is the exact same thing. Wasting time. Yes, wasting time. Wonder if there's still hair in there. A dusty large amount of human hair is crammed into the cabinet, filling each shelf to overflow. Looking closely, there's an exciting number of bugs existing scrambled all over. The sight alone is enough to make your skin crawl. God damn it. I did not mean to read that again. Well then, there was nothing in here. Looks like I'm going down. Anything down here besides... Oh, no bucket in this one. Oh, it's over here. There's a strand yellow fluid gondola inside the rusty bucket. Somebody moved it. We'll go with that. Ah, crap. There's a key over there. Or something. Oh, boy. Something tells me I'm going to have to get that key. Probably later on in the game. God damn it. I can't walk for crap. What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class rep Shinozaki, famous scary time candles. There's not a student in 2-9 who isn't intimately familiar with them, right? You're kidding. There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen that at most once. People call you the horror rep of Kizuragi for a reason. So how about it? It's story time. We light some candles like this all throughout the school building. They'll be like signal flares for Mochita and the others. 
Let them know that you and me and Miss Sh Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Y yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better, come on, let's go. Okay. And the best thing is, what she doesn't know is it's a safe point. So, please hold while I save the game. Alright. Awesome. I saved the game. Uh oh. Scary noises. Something's going to happen. Note. Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. Are these riddles? Because I don't understand. Well then, I guess I can go up and down. Hey, the door's open. Maybe that's one step closer to getting out of here. Of course. Of course. The front entranceway might as well be painted on. It neither opens nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Well then. Perfect. Let's go read the note. Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, is this world behind your back still there? I don't get it. Let's go. Alright, we're going up. We go holy bananas. Whoa, eek, holy bananas. Look at all those dead. The guy falls back? There are human bones? Oh, God. God, no gas, please. Cough, cough. Ah, oh, you just stepped all over Shinozaki. <laughs> Are you alright, Shinozaki? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm just hyperventilating a little, please. Cough, cough. Come on, we have to find Miss Yui. Yeah. Alright, Shinozaki. Or, where the hell is Satoshi? If he were here, I bet Shinozaki would be a whole lot calmer. Oh yeah, of course. What are you standing around for? Let's get out of here. Alright, already. No, I'm gonna stand around. You know what, we're gonna look at this bone. You know why? Because I can. I'm gonna look at this bone and I'm gonna read it. Because the custodian told me to read these bones and get their name tags. Judging by size, there appears to be a marine remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Bayakan Senior High School Class 2-4 or 2-9? Kai Shimada. Kizami. Did you just hear? We have to get away from here. Okay. Judging by size, there appears to be a remain of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Bayakan Senior High School Class 2-9 Tomohiro Okawa. Judging by size, there appears to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closure inspection reveals a student ID name tag. The same school, Masato Fukuru. Judging by size, there appears to be the same exact thing. Uh, Mizukaira Girls Middle School, Class 1-2. Hikaru Kiroja. I don't understand. I, 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 I don't understand this. This is really difficult. What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh crap. I got a nail puller. I mean. Found in class 4A. It's a plain rusted nail puller made of iron. Wait, I have something else. I have return. 